she got at a yard sale for five dollars and sold them hey follow buddies thanks for watching Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about big money bolos. Big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a great profit. Some of these are going to be unexpected, and some of them you may have seen before, but we are going to check them out. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These come from my featured members. Be sure to check out the description before you leave. I'm going to post their eBay stores links to their eBay stores. And if they have a YouTube channel, that'll be linked down below also. All right, and let's get started. Okay, so the first one comes from Lola's Trunk Treasures. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she has a fantastic eBay store, which will be linked down in the description. Ooh, look at that. Enchantimals, new in the box. That would be a great Christmas gift if anybody's looking for Christmas gifts. Um, fantastic store here. Check her out. And she sold these, um, uh, a lot of 14, the Royal Diaries. Uh, they are scholastic and they are hardcover. I have never seen these before. And she said that she picks these up at the Goodwill and other thrift stores for a buck or two a piece. She ended up selling all 14 of these for a best offer of $120. The next item are these Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. They're comics, a comic I have never heard of. It looks like they're like a horror uh, type comic. So uh, a scary comic. Let's go with that. And it looks like she's got one through six and they are pre-owned with some condition issues. And she got these at the Goodwill for $1 and sold them for $39.99 plus shipping. All right. I love this one. Um, they're dinosaurs. Seven vintage dinosaur figures. Safari. Um, these are the different dinosaurs. Carnegie, Carn I don't know if I'm saying that right. Oh boy. Uh, Parasolophus. What, what happened to like Tyrannosaurus Rex or Brontosaurus? What are these dinosaurs? Carnotaurus. Anyway, this is what they look like. <laughs> and usually these have what the dinosaur name is on the bottom. Right there. See, it'll tell you. And these are from 1999. So these are very, very cool. Safari um, is the brand. You can see that is also on the bottom. I always pick these up if I see them. She sold these for $44.99. And she got them at the Goodwill for $3.49. So a very nice find. AEG's Estate Treasures. And I think she's going to be putting together some reseller boxes. So stay tuned for that and make sure you are following her um, store by hitting that heart. Um, definitely do that with uh, anybody down in the description of this uh, video. There is a little heart at the top that you can click save seller. And I've already got all of these saved and bookmarked on my um, computer. So AEG's estate treasures and it looks like she's got some new old stock that would be great for christmas as well all right she sold this florence ceramics figurine of prince edward or albert ivory and green and she picked this up at a thrift store she paid three dollars for it and took a best offer of 75 dollars and she does estate cleanouts, so definitely uh follow her store i bet she gets some really fantastic stuff Madam Alexander 8-inch Fill My Heart doll, pink dress with a bonnet. And she got this at a thrift store for $5 and sold it for $97.27 plus shipping. The next item here is this Halloween Haunted Lighted Mansion. Uh, pumpkins, bats, cats, spooky, and it is battery operated. Very cool item. And here it is with the lights out. You got to love that. Now. Someone reached out to her and said that a couple years ago they were in a hurricane situation and they lost all of their vintage 
Halloween and Christmas decorations. So they ended up buying three, I think it was three items from her. So she went ahead and took a best offer of, I believe, was it $35? She took a best offer of $35 and she paid $15 for it at the Goodwill. So um, she went ahead and hooked them up. So that was super nice of her. Thrifty Tiffy 2. And this is her eBay store. Again, vintage to now. Got some jewelry. Definitely some great items. It just fascinates me. All of the fantastic items these members have listed. They just have great stores. All right. She sold this quilt top. It is an estate quilt topper. Large, 88 by 105. Hand piece, antique, patchwork, multicolor. And she got this at an estate sale for $15. And it sold on auction for $105. And you can see here, it's a really, really cool piece right there. Looks to be in pretty good condition too. All right. The next item she sold is this Amari 12 inch charger porcelain plate, gold gilt signed Japanese red and blue. And this is what is on the back. So I don't know if Google Lens figured that one out or what. Um, but she got this at a thrift store for $5, took a best offer of 80 plus shipping. Old antique vintage chunky bead glass necklace, Halloween candy corn, orange and black. And she got this at a thrift store for $5 and she did end up taking a best offer of 35 on this. I definitely would have held out for more. Um, not sure why she went so low on it because it is super cool. And right now is like the perfect time to be selling something like this because Halloween is coming. So really cool piece. I know uh, sometimes in certain situations for me, if um, like I've had a slow sales day and I'm like, okay, I paid five bucks for it. They're offering me $35 cash right now. I'm going to take it. So it could have been a situation like that. All right. We got grinning grandma. And um, I actually need to go and watch this video. She told me she did it. It says, taking the scary out of mailing glass. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know I'm not a big fan of breakables. I don't like to ship them. I don't like to pack them. Um, I like things that are quick and easy to ship. So um, I'm going to watch this video. And again, Grin and Grandma, she'll be linked down below. And let's see what she picked up. She got this Glow Minerals Golden Dark Pressed Base for sample jars, two grams each. She got a full box of this type of makeup at an estate sale for $5. She said she's already sold over $100 worth and has a whole bunch um, that still needs listed. She sold just this set for uh, $30 and uh, free shipping on that one. The next item she sold is this EAPG large scalloped bowl with floral medallion, gold flash, beautiful detail. And I talked about this in the last video. You guys, they have 18 booths, you know, like flea market booths that you go to 18. Could you imagine trying to keep up with 18 booths? So they are trying to scale back on the booths and start to get more stuff online and on YouTube. So definitely go and give them a follow. She got this at an estate clean out and took a best offer of $30 plus shipping on this one. The next item here is this set of four vintage uranium Vaseline glass dishes. They are green leaf and here they are. They're really, really pretty. She got this also from an estate clean out and she sold these for a best offer of $72 plus shipping. So really cool piece. Got junk in our trunk. Uh, this one comes from Rhonda, who is also a moderator of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So yay. Thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate your help. That group is massive and crazy. Um, she has an awesome channel and she's been doing these videos. Why did I buy it? So it's a whole series. Like, why did I buy these vintage cloth calendars? Uh, junk journal kits. And anyway, check out those videos. They are fantastic. And then she also has her what sold videos, which are set to music 
and she just goes through the screen shares. So it's a great way to just kind of relax and watch a video without any talking. What do they call that? I think there's a name for that. But anyway, check her out. She is a Bolo finder for sure. She sold, and I love this one. You guys know I love selling toys and, you know, random things that you think wouldn't sell that end up selling. That's the things I love. And this is totally something that I would pick up. A lot of 17 vintage Barney picture books, Barney Baby Bop paperback ephemera. And um, she sells a lot of the golden books also. Um, she has a video on it somewhere. Little Golden Books. Why did I buy it? Go check that out. But these Barney books, she got at a yard sale for $5 and sold them for $42.99 plus shipping. This vintage Mexican El Salvador ethnic dress, skirt, blouse, boho, hippie festival costume. And she said a lot of times people pass by these. And um, she said she picks them up. She got this at a thrift store for $5. It's got damage. It's got stains. It's got issues. And it's still sold for $89.99. So really, really cool, fun uh, bolo right there. Something I didn't know about. I probably would have walked past it. I actually asked her to send me this one because um, it caught my eye. It's a Kyle Burt, or, sorry, Kyle Bush, number 18, Cooler Camry NASCAR Collector's Edition, Snickers Limited. So, um, I, it's a cooler, but the funny thing is she said that there were two more there and the lady had them in her hand and she was talking to, she thinks it was her son about her grandkids asking her son if he wanted them for lunch boxes for his kids. And she's like, I was hoping he'd say no. And she's like cringing, thinking of this collector's item being used as a lunchbox by kids. Um, she said they were comping in the 70 to a hundred dollar range. And, um, she ended up selling this one. I think the other two comped out higher. If I remember correctly from our message, she bought it for $7 and 98 cents and took a best offer of 55 on this one. All right, Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. No YouTube channel, but an amazing eBay store. Check her out. She finds the most incredible items. Um, just, just wow. I mean, look at this. All right, let's see what she sold. She's always got some good stuff here. Karen and Mary Hammerschmid Folk Art Witch ESC Halloween. She got this for $22 at a thrift store and sold it for full asking price of $125 plus shipping. Let's take a look at this. Just incredible. All right. She also sold this Fenton Glass Lavender Satin Sparrow figurine. And... She is using the... Um, background remover from eBay, I think. And when you use the background remover from eBay, you're going to get this shadowing right here. Um, if you use photo room, you will not get that shadowing. Uh, I know that, uh, photo room has a free, um, you can download it free, but it will say photo room down in the corner. What I do is I buy it by the year and then, um, it just renews every year. But if you want to check out Photo Room, you can get 10% off your first year. Um, I have a link down in the description of the video. It's in, I think it's linked down there. And then it's also on my link tree. But that will get rid of the shadowing if you're using the filter. Now, the eBay filter is fantastic for certain things. I've done really well with it. it and it is convenient to not have to leave eBay. But um, it definitely will give that crisp white background if you use Photo Room. I also use Photo Room for my thumbnails. So to me, it's like 100% worth it. Okay, so she got this at an estate sale for $8.50. And it says it sold for full asking price, but it's marked through. So I may have wrote, written that down wrong. Uh, so we'll just say probably $70-ish range. All right, this Bethany Lowe uh, skeleton tiger costume. Um, it's a figurine, I believe. And Bethany Lowe is highly collectible 
goes for big money. It's a big money bolo. And Dad Planet, um, we just did a collaboration video up at the Goodwill Bins, and it wasn't his last uh, Goodwill Bins video. It's probably, by the time I post this video, it'll probably be maybe three or four back, um, depending on when I get this out. But he found a Bethany Lowe in the Goodwill Bins. You got to go check out that video. It does need a little repair, but I think he'll still do pretty good with it. So she got this at an estate sale for $30 and it sold for $175. All right, we got the Hippie Thrifter and this is her eBay store. Wide variety of items as well. Got some jewelry and let's see, she sold this vintage Chevrolet advertising razor knife for economical transportation cigar. Huh. Sold for $165.50. So is it a cigar cutter? I think it's a cigar cutter. Huh. She got this. Um, let's see. Online auction for $1 and sold for $165.50. It's crazy, right? Um, Escape for Men. It says giant. Uh, it's 11 inches tall, but it is empty. It's a display dummy bottle. Huh, that's fun. So it's just uh, like if you go into um, like a, a department store or something like that, probably. She got it at an online auction for 50 cents and took a best offer of $80 on that. We got this vintage 1950s hard plastic owl whistle eyes and wings move when blown Halloween. This is fantastic. I cannot believe that this did not go for more than $59.99. It is incredible. Um, really cool vintage Halloween item. Look at that. That's incredible. Uh, she got it at a thrift store for $1 and it sold on auction for $59.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from Three Ducks Resale and here we are. Oh, look at these little miniature shoes. That's fun. Very cool store. Ooh, Halloween. Everybody's getting their Halloween and Christmas items up. Very, very smart. All right. She sold this vintage Vandermeer full sweep nightgown style. Uh, 79200 size large negligee. Look at this. Some of these can go for crazy money. Um, full sweep is a great word for the title. And she sold this for $49.99 and she got it. It was an auction and she got it at a thrift store for $8. And the buyer paid shipping on that. This is a Tamagotchi on Bandai Pink Fairy Virtual Pet. So these, if you can find the vintage ones, they go for big bucks. Um, great job showing that it works. And she got this, well, this was actually something she bought for her kids. And it was about $50 when she bought it new. And it sold for $96 on auction plus shipping. The next item is this uh, J. Wilfred Andrea by Sadik Portugal Blue White. I, I don't know. It's, it's a canister. And it does have some crazing. But really uh, pretty piece there. Sometimes crazing just looks cool, I think. She ended up uh, selling this for $35 on Best Offer, and she got it at the Goodwill for 3 bucks. The next item comes from Mom Knows Treasures, and she is just rocking it out over on her YouTube channel. She is a newer YouTuber, and she already has 427 subscribers. Oh, nope, 437. She got 10 from when I last updated it. So, um... Go check her out. She's got she's got great content. She's doing a great job. And she's a bolo finder. All right. She sold and she has a video on this. Okay. So it's right here. Unboxing plush. You got to go watch this and hear the story behind this thing. It's a retired squishable, not a squishmallow, squishable. And it's um this cat right here. And it's hand numbered 335 out of a thousand. She sold this on Mercari for $94 plus shipping. She said it sold really, really fast. And 
We're not 100% sure if she undersold it or not, but what a fantastic um, flip. Uh, she, um, I'm going to let you guys go over to see what she paid for it. It came out of a unboxing from that she bought from, I think, a YouTube channel. She buys a lot of stuff from YouTube auctions and then does unboxings on her channel. So really cool find. Uh, this is a rare, hard to find 1980s JCPenney strawberry shortcake complete window curtains. Very, very fun item. She sold this over on Poshmark for $100. And she got this in a lot of linens. She paid $10 for the whole lot. And so I'm not sure what her ended up what cost of goods ended up being, but a hundred bucks. And she is mom knows MKT over on uh, Poshmark. If you want to follow her over there, Lago di Como King fitted sheet set, organic dye made in Italy. She got this uh, free from a friend, I think, and it sold for $75 plus shipping. So don't pass up those New old stock linens. Uh, they can definitely bring in some, some nice uh, profits. Ohio Treasure Hunters. Here is his eBay store. Lots and lots of cool items. And I will again have all of these linked down in the description. I have sold these. You guys, if you watch me, you've seen me. Um, I've actually found these quite a bit at the Goodwill bins. Um, and they sell really quickly. This is a Bath and Body Works hand soap dispenser, battery operated, auto pump retired, and it is silver. He got this at the Goodwill Bins for $1 and sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage rare Super Takamur. Uh, it's a lens. It's a camera lens with, uh, it looks like a mount, and it's got the case. And he got this at a yard sale for $15 and sold it for $99.99 plus shipping. I have to say that I am guilty of passing by these when I see them because I just don't know anything about them. Let me know in the comments, do you sell camera and camera parts? And if so, how have you done with it? This is a rare Fenton Amethyst hand-painted brass table lamp signed C.C. Hardman. He got this at a yard sale for $12 and he flipped it for $250 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that concludes this video. If you would like to become a member ah, and uh, join the channel to be featured in videos like this, there is a link ah, right here. Um, if you don't see it, there is also a uh, link down in the description of the video. I uh, got this from an estate sale and I usually use, let me show you here, this size for my members videos to write stuff. And I got this big one. I'm like, this will be fantastic. And I hate it. <laughs> it's great because it like holds more people on each page, but this size is just so much easier. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not, but anyway, um, Thank you guys so much for being here. Leave me an emoji of, just leave me your favorite emoji down in the comments and tell me why it's your favorite emoji. I have a couple favorite emojis. There's this one and it's kind of like this weird, like little face like this. I don't know. Um, I'll try to remember to post it down in the comments. That is like one of my favorite emojis because I'm just like, when things happen that are weird or somebody leaves you a weird comment or like, you get a weird message from eBay. I just make that face to myself. And I'm like, that's the best emoji. Um, I also like this one that's like wind. I don't know why. It's just funny to me. Um, it makes me think like, whatever. So those are two of my favorite emojis. So uh, let me know in the comments your favorite emoji and why it's your favorite emoji. And I know that's really weird and random. But thank you for being here. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.